a Sean Garville? Chucky? Where's my Chucky? Chucky? Uh, I was wondering if you knew a Sean Garville? Do you know where he is? Ch- uh, uh, Ch- uh, Are you Chucky? Well, never mind. I'll ask someone else. Tell Chucky to come back! It's not safe out there! Sean, we don't have anybody by that name here. Description. He is one of the miners who fled the Crow m m <gasps> Mines with you. One of the miners? I know Armadillo, Tamir, and Redford, but I don't know a Sean. Okay, thanks. I'll try someone else. Sean? I do know a Sean, but probably not the Sean you're looking for, since he died years ago. As for him being a miner, you sure you got the name right? Maybe I did get it wrong. Did Sean not use his real name either? Just great. It might have been in the diary, Bola Bob, but Brian, we should ask Byling. So, did you find Sean? I only found his journal, and anyone who might know him said they didn't, so maybe he's here under another identity? A false identity? The only clue I have is a kid named Brian. He's living in the shelter. Do you know where he is? You're looking for Brian? Well, I have no idea where he is either. You can ask his mother, Olivia. Look like you're from around here. What trouble did Brian get into this time? I told him to stay home for a couple of days and not to run around. Actually, we just want to ask him a few questions, that's it. 
He's on the lawn behind the house. Just turn the corner and you'll see. Would you like me to take you? It's okay, thank you. Are you Brian? Unless there's a new kid named Brian in the neighborhood, that would be me. You fixed the water purifier, right? I saw the whole thing. You wouldn't happen to be from Banja's dock, are you? I know you're here to see someone, but you asked the wrong guys. Uncle Ray and Moto have no idea who Sean is. As for Granny Linda, she's been off her rockers ever since Charles went missing and treating Sean like her lost son. You know Sean? Of course. He goes by the moniker Armadillo here. See that big warehouse over there? He's inside. But Miss Bai Ling doesn't let anyone get close. The security cams in the warehouse ran out of juice a long time ago. No one knows what's going on in there. Why is he confined? It's not just him inside. Many who are badly wounded or with damaged suppressors are in there, too, waiting for provisions from Banjas. Hopefully it's not too late for them. What? Are you... locking them in the warehouse and leaving them to die? If you want to see Sean, you gotta go through Bai Ling first. The guards will let you in only with her permission. Ling, we located Sean. He goes by Armadillo here and is confined in the warehouse. He is Armadillo? <sighs> Brian told you everything, didn't he? Unfortunately, Armadillo has... He didn't make it? That's not it. When the power came back on, I checked the security camera and they... already changed. By that, you mean 
aberration, Miss Spiling? I figured if the provisions from Banjus get here in time, they'll be saved. But now... You know what we have to do if they mutated. But they were my friends. I just can't... They're no longer who you know. You can't keep monsters in the shelter forever. <sighs> Alright. I'll get them to open the warehouse. Please help us deal with the... monsters. The appearance in the warehouse escaped! Don't panic. I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to lead you through this disaster. But these monsters are no longer our companions. We must... eliminate them. Thank you. We're safe now. But, Sean... He accomplished his mission. All of the Fallen were once my friends. I'll never forget the sacrifice they made. I'll do my best as a leader. I won't let anyone down. You will certainly <laughs> be an excellent leader, Miss Byling. Thank you for everything you've done for us. The rebuilding is just getting started. You'll always be welcome here.